Just when you think you've heard it all, vending machines dispensing suspicious pens found on Long Island. The machines, they look just like the ones at the laundromat, but for $2 and quarters, you can buy these pens, which then, then can then be used as a crack pipe. Three of those machines found in Suffolk County, and police have no idea who put them there. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne live in Quorum with more. Kristen? Diana, one of these machines was found just outside the Quorum Common Shopping Center. Look right here, you can see that there's a hole left because it was cemented into the ground here. Also, all over here, these plastic tubes. So clearly, at least several people actually used this vending machine. Money's in there. That's what we get. A glass tube, what appears to be a filter, an ink dispenser, and a pen top. The town of Brookhaven says it's not being fooled. It's a crack pipe. Three of the vending machines, dubbed as selling pens, were found cemented into the ground in Medford and Quorum. One of them was outside Danielle Blum's apartment complex on Route 112. We've been here for three years. We've never had any problems, and now this. So. It's pretty disgusting. Another one was at this bus stop on Middle Country Road in Quorum. Did you see anyone actually using it? Yeah, I've seen a couple of people use it. Scott Malls took video of the one at a bus stop outside the Quorum Commons Shopping Center and put it on Facebook. I wanted the community to see what was going on and try to get rid of it as quick as possible because that's actually a bad area for drugs. The town and Suffolk police are trying to figure out who put them there, how long ago, and what the real intention is. The town received complaints last weekend. Obviously, it's not illegal to sell a pen. Uh, to sell a pipe is not illegal. However, this is considered drug par paraphernalia, and it also is being dispensed from a machine that was installed illegally per town code. An eyewitness news viewer contacted me on Twitter and said he actually legitimately bought one of these pens. He said he needed a pen for his ride on the LIRR into the city and he needed a pen to do his crossword puzzle. He said with the packaging was also included instructions that said what appears to be a filter is actually something that you could use to get ink off of your skin or it could be used as an eraser. So are there going to be any criminal charges here? That will be up to Suffolk Police to decide.